So, welcome back. Uh, we are gonna e explore a little bit the new uh, combos that are possible with Yoshimitsu in Season 2. I already did this, but again, I wasn't pleased with the outcome, so I will do it again. Because I was exploring myself and that means that it took a lot of time to actually come to the combos. So the first combo I'm gonna show is the one that I will use after a clean wall splat. It's sidestep 4 into 1 plus 2 Kicho, which leaves you back turn and gives very good Oki. Um, a, a mix up between um, the, yeah, the 3, the mid into a guaranteed down one or just the down one by itself if they stay on the ground or you expect them to uh, stay up and block neutral um, you can also do a suicide for 66 damage if you're like crazy but what does it mean crazy i mean from this situation suicide comes out very fast and i don't think if they quick rise there is a way to avoid this and this will make yoshimitsu a lot more viable I mean, it already was kind of with the uh, with this tech that Yoshimitsu could do a lot of damage, but now it's even better because you're gonna do 51 with this, um, and then 66 again or 52 when it hits grounded. So that's gonna be very scary for the opponent. Um, to note, this only works at a clean wall splat like um, this. And it is a little bit finicky, so you have to time it correct. Sometimes it won't work if you're not doing the sidestep 4 immediately. And I think it only works um, like if you do it as fast as possible. I have more success stepping to the right, but as you can see, even then it can whiff. So I have to find a way to make it consistent. Um, there is another option which is good now, which is 2-2 into crouch dash 1, which gives a flip over. It's far less damage, but it is more consistent and it gives a Kicho um, like mix up afterwards, um, which is uninterruptible by get up kicks or anything because they flip over. Um, this is quite useful. I used it before because uh, Kicho was always good, but now it's even better with the flip over. So um, yeah, the yeah the like this combo for some reason doesn't work. I thought this was gonna be his new bread and butter, but they decided not to give him this buff. But I mean, sidestep does the same thing. Sidestep four, so it's a little bit finicky, but you have to figure it out. Um, his wall bounce move is four four, a safe mid that um, does twenty seven damage on normal hit. Um, the combo is a little bit strange, so you can do forward 3 into down 2-2, two, two, but as you can see, sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. Um, and you of course can do... Mm, put your sword away afterwards, or something like this. Um, it is finicky as you can see, so what I would suggest is doing a 3 into 2-2 two, two into crouch dash 1. Or doing a crouch dash 2 into 2-2, two, two, but the timing here is very strict again. Um, you can fuck it up like I do a lot. And then you get 64, um, which is not a lot. I was hoping for more damage, but I think there will be more damaging options. But these are the ones that I find now. This is the most damaging single hit but for some reason they decide to give it a very very low uh, wall hit and jabs unfortunately um, doesn't connect after the fort free so yeah that's kind of unfortunate um, I have to say with no sword stance not a lot changed like you can also do this combo um, yeah or do your regular no sword stance combo that you did before um, I will do this, to be honest, because um, you have like uh, Kicho 1, which will hit grounded and knock them down back, that's pretty good. And afterwards you have very, very good options to like annoy them. <laughs> and yeah, this is, this is the new wall combo I will use. Uh, in the open, I think actually nothing changed. Um, the combo where you like 
maybe like this. Um, with Kitcho One Plus Two, I think maybe you can connect this, but um, I'm not sure how useful this should be because down one won't hit. Um, I think it doesn't even hit if you do it like this. Yeah, so um, yeah, that is pretty useless because three won't hit either, and that's why I don't know what they uh, wanted to do with this. It's not useful at the wall, it's not useful anywhere. So that is kind of unfortunate, but man, I'm so pleased with the no new orbital that I don't really care about that. I'm just gonna do the same normal combos that I did before and be happy that Yoshimitsu has so much wall carry in this game and now a really good, really good wall ender for Oki, which um, is a very good thing. Like, Swords Reap is gonna be viable again. And you're going to have some fun at the wall, I'm going to promise you. And yeah, normal launcher, uh, I mean open combos with no sword stance didn't change either, I think. Uh, maybe there is something that I missed, but uh, that's not going to work. There is nothing, straight up nothing. Only thing to note is that you can now do this. Um, you can now bound or screw after crouch dash 1 with forward 3. Which is quite good, a little damage buff, and of course um, you can now get a combo from up for one, which is great, and it does good damage, as you can see here, like 50%, I think, um, it's a 30 damage launcher, yeah, like, that is really, really impressive, man, that is like, it's even minus 5 on shallow, so you could just step after it, that is like really, really great, I'm really pleased with that. Uh, but I think there's nothing more to add to this. Um, I will start explaining like normal Yoshi things, like um, how to do this consistently, if I can do it. And how to do his uh, combo into suicide, and the difference between this and if you do it correct. So if you have any suggestions for new Yoshimitsu tutorials, please leave them in the comments so I can try and uh, help you to learn about this character even though I don't know any everything and I'm not pretty good like I'm just an online warrior with this character but maybe there's one or two things that I can teach you. So if there are any more questions leave them in the comment section below and I see you guys next time. See ya!